Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we're trying to beat the game with only two um, soldiers per mission. Am I ready? Or are we ready? That is the question that really um, keeps me awake. We are at the crux of the entire mission or the entire run. The Advent Black Side is in front of us. The Doom Timer is ticking down in the background, so really huge tension. And if we're failing this mission, A, there is not much um, to go back to. If we're losing Zirkim and Roby on this um, on this run, there is a high chance uh, that the entire run will spiral out of control. So we need to make uh, this really work. And we're going to go in, like I mentioned, with um, Roby and Zirkim. Put in uh, the newly found gas grenade. We, I am expecting we're finding mechanical units uh, to fight against. Difficult means we're taking probably 15 enemies, maybe even even more when we consider that there might be reinforcements. Anyways, it's it's going to be a lot, and yeah, we got a couple of med kits just to keep us uh, honest here. And the two, hopefully, will be able to pull off this mission. I am praying for kind of that that third um, additional soldier, that the continent, bo uh, continent bonus works out well. If not, this might be even a harder call. And let's hope that there is also not uh, the chosen one right here. Fighting against the assassin is just no fun at all. Yeah, it stinks that we took so much damage with Dragonova and um, and Edgar Alien Poe, because this here is the perfect mission for both of them. All right, ready, steady, go. Let's see how well we are going to do. There's the third man. It's better than nothing. Good. Very solid start. Again, we don't need to hurry. Let's do this right. And not very hasty. Copy that. With Nicoletta, we do have a third uh, gun with us. That's helpful. Let's try to keep her alive. Six hit points isn't really much to write home about. There might be towers upstairs. On the move. All right, Roby moves up, Zirkin moves up. Understood. Moving out. Ooh, tension. Okay, the first pick will be somewhere around here. Headed there now. Moving Roby up. We haven't found anything so far. Roger that. Which I'm not yet sure if that's a good or a bad sign. On 
eyes on the prize. We definitely want to pull the packs one by one. I'm on the move. Still, we haven't found anything. The cool part about this mission is uh, once we effectively got the high ground here with with both of uh, these guys having death from above, we might be able to even uh, kill larger packs. The upgraded grenades should deal a lot of damage. And after the grenades, it's basically only cleanup. Enemy squad located. So that's a pack of two. Which I think is not very dangerous. There's another pack. Just considering the options here, we definitely don't want to be uh, spotted out for now. Packs of two should be doable for us, specifically if it's a mechanical unit like this, uh, the Spectre. Hostiles making the rounds. That's another pack, though. Wow, this here would be so fulfilling, but we're probably not going to survive it. The other option is the gas grenade. Yet another option is the regular grenade. Yeah, we're we're not pulling with the grenade. Moving on target location. Position confirmed. Fortunately, there's a there's a spot missing here. Roger, I've got my eyes, eyes on the prize. Okay, let's see. Um, if one of uh, the packs moves away, yep. So we're down to one patrol. And now we're down to zero patrols. Okay, we got a bit of a, uh, of time at our hands, so we should be fine for now. Let's wait until we see one pack and engage. And maybe we really want to... Yeah. There is no optimal positioning. Up here is okay. I wish this was would be more of a cover as well. 
So we're lacking a bit of the cover. Come on. We're waiting for one uh, patrol, and I'm, I promise you, yeah, there is going to be a single patrol that moves around. In this case, these two guys, perfect. Position ourselves well. Heading there now. Scanning. To Next round we're going to engage. So what we're going to do is we're going to overwatch here and I think we're going to do exactly that which is opening with saturation fire um, that will not consume. Hmm. Hmm. Difficult. Wait a second. We saw three packs. Probably two more. I think we can go with one plasma grenade here. I want to keep the grenades as tight as possible. Both are shredded, the falling damage hits on top, there's the overwatch that I mentioned. And this here will take care of Oh wow, there's another there's another patrol right there. Interesting. Okay. We got threat assessment, which means we can give Zirkim here an overwatch. We know that there's a mutant here. And we're going to overwatch ourselves. Yeah, I figured that that might happen. Okay. Still, can summon stun lancers. Ensign overwatch, which is a bit problematic, but not with grenades. Uh, it's immune to overwatch, which is problematic. Bewildering attack is not problematic. And adversary to reapers. It's also not problematic, uh, or is problematic because we don't have a Reaper. She will take three turns until she reaches us. Let's make sure we disengage or kill these guys here fast. There is yet another patrol behind them. Nice. Come on, further hit. Uh, unfortunately, a miss.
you know that there is another group. These guys are in very solid cover. We could go with a gas grenade, but I feel that might be a bit over the top. Saturation fire is on cooldown. Yeah, we want to make sure that we are being okay. And being okay for now means we can't afford to have additional enemies when we're fighting the Chosen One. Obi takes another kill. Question is, do we want to deal with the other pack? And the answer is most likely not. So what we might want to do is really move back. Is there a position where the Chosen can't just get us? Is there a tower which we can block? Could be here and here. Chosen would still get us. Don't want to take too much damage. That's my that's my main concern. Two more rounds until she is here. Let's fall back, regain our, uh, regain our cooldowns. I will leave the loot there. We don't know where exactly she is, on but we can move further back. Ready to go. Time for some solid movement out. plus reload. Let's rock. I think that the reloading part is the most Ready important one. One more round until she will be at the original target where we had been. Probably another one more before she will be with us. Trying to block out most of the uh, the entrances. Here is another one. Okay, so three out of four entrances. She can still jump up. So I'm I'm not um, falling for the illusion that we would be safe here. Alright, she probably will approach us now. Interestingly enough, she doesn't.
The Chosen has shown in the other mission that it can't really deal super well with um, with uh, operatives with these um, with these resistance operators. Oh, nice, nice. Believe me, we will make sure that that's the case. <sighs> Grenade plus shot. Grenade wouldn't take uh, the cover away. If it would, I would definitely go for grenade plus shot. We're not going to go for demolition only. I like the idea of chain shot, just to move up and basically completely try to hit her. We do not yet have run and gun. Yeah, but I think that's probably the wisest decision. I think we can get it up to almost a hundred percent. All right, come on. Not good. No, sure. no, that's not good. You are absolutely and a hundred percent right. That is not good. I guess that'll be okay. It hit the plate. The Wild Ring wounds are good, but we're now going to take damage. Unless she's going to completely do something else. That was foreseeable. I would have uh, guessed that she's going to do that. Ironically, she uh, she explains there will be no more running, and the first thing she does after explaining that is she runs away. Nice little revival. We hit the plate. Hmm. I'm thinking we need to take him out anyways. Unfortunately, we lost our uh, first action. We can stand in the open because it doesn't matter for the chosen one. 
Might as well take a shot. That was good. If we would have missed, I would have just given us um, aid protocol. Since she is immune to overwatch shots, might as well use another healing. Harbor wave. Well, blinded, okay. The fate of this world rests on the shoulders of your band of misfits. But in the end, the blame for its loss will lie with you. Let's finally shred her armor. It's a bit ex uh, extravagant to use the last grenade. But the Chosen is a real threat. So far, so good. This here should destroy the place, which it clearly doesn't. Hmm, that was strange. I was hoping we would uh, get her down. Apparently that's not the case. We can move into uh, the poison because we're immune. Take a couple of shots. And she is now poisoned. I hate her action economy, it's just something else. Damn it, one of our soldiers is down. They're vulnerable to the Chosen's attacks in that state. Get them back on their feet ASAP. Got some goods here. Good. All right, let's get up. We are reviving. Roby is still disoriented, unfortunately. Too bad. I wish we would have a little bit more ammunition. That's affirmative. Well off the armor. Yeah. It's not looking super good. I mean, her being poisoned is not bad, but we're sitting there like lame ducks.
Okay, so that's the only place where we wouldn't poison ourselves. I think we were too wasteful with uh, the grenade usage in the first couple of packs. Should have really waited until we see her. Finally, Roby reloads and takes a shot. Come on, kill her. Very nice. All right, we're almost out of resources. This here doesn't look good at all. Roby begins to heal himself. And I think we're... Yeah. I think we're continuing to heal ourselves. Not my cleanest fight against the Chosen, and very unlucky. I mean, we spotted her out, but we couldn't capitalize. It would have been really, really good to hit her twice down uh, down there. I could, I could argue that we probably even would have killed her in one go. Fortunately, that wasn't the case. Now we are out of resources and somewhat in a tough spot. We know there is one more pack... At least one more pack with a mech. Um, and probably one more pack with an advent captain. Getting our uh, cooldowns back. Like saturation fire and demolition. And that's pretty much it. That's really not much more we can do. We have zero grenades, so one of the biggest advantages of Zirkim is effectively, I wouldn't say gone, but clearly diminished. I choose to put her out of cover, despite knowing that we could, uh, that the enemy could maybe decide to shoot us if someone runs into us. But we have so uh, so little uh, cover up here. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we need an overwatch trap to make that work. So next couple of rounds will be us effectively overwatching or we're lucky and we're finding the pack right away. That's the pack with the mech I was talking about. We will need to be very, very careful to not stand in the open. Uh, to not stand clustered here. Elsewise, this is over faster than uh, we think. Alright, let's reload. 
and start with saturation fire. Yeah, although that looks like a really nice positioning, the reality is if this guy here throws a grenade, we're pretty much fucked. Zirkim takes an A protocol with threat assessment, so he takes an overwatch shot. He's going to go for shields. Might as well try to hit him as good as we can beforehand. And I am going to get back to reduce the chance of them using a grenade. There's a tower, okay, good to know. So, let's try. If we were to take a shot, that's a 60% shot. And it would kill him. Hmm. Alternatively, we can take his cover away, which I think is the better call. Ah, I forgot he has still half cover. Hmm. Anyways, need to hit him. Now we are clustered up. That's a bad position to be in to in the first place. What's over there? Overwatch in case he wants to get closer to throw a grenade. Of course we are missing. Not throwing a grenade, he's trying to mark. Come on, miss. <sighs> Way closer than I wish it would be. Alright, this here should. If I was to move here. We're going to do exactly that. Hundred percent good. Let's kill him first. That gives us untouchable and death from above. And if we were to chain shot, odds are good enough. Let's try it. Good job. Still death from above. Reloaded. Reloading. If, if you say so. Moving out. Time for reload. Let's do this. Rock and roll. I think overall the encounter here went well. Not sure if we do have another, if we do have another um, pack to go through. I think we're almost done. 
This here worries me a little bit because burning means we could fall down. And falling down is never fun. Move into position. I guess that'll be okay. So let's overwatch for a couple of rounds just to double check that we're okay. difficult run so far so let's think that through okay we have the chosen that's a big plus we have a pack of one uh, of two we have another pack of two that's four and a pack of three that's seven we do have a tower over here that's eight We're at least having one more pack inside with three. That would be 11. Usually there's a pack of vipers in the back of uh, the entire building. Mainly also three. So that's 14. And that might be it. Sniper would be very helpful. Or the tower, I mean. Headed there now. Position confirmed. So we're starting to move. Okay, I'll go. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. I've got movement here. The tower is still concerning. How do our cooldowns uh, look? Okay, everything there looks fine. Moving, to designated position. Moving into full cover. Seems to be the only tower up here. And this here might be a, an insta-kill for the tower. Certainly deals a lot of damage. And with the blue screen rounds, we should actually be fine. Tower is dealt with. We would have high ground advantage with our death from above, so might as well use it. Ready to go. I would, however, want to wait until we proceed for our um, cooldown to come back. Slowly but surely, really slowly but surely moving in. Closing on target position now. I'm taking half cover mainly because I want the best line of sight, which is in this direction, in this direction, and the full cover sometimes does block the line of sight. Pretty sure the next pack is indoors. You know, one patrol definitely moved out, out of here. Moving out. Got it covered. Scanning. I'm on it. What was that? 
Still hearing that the patrol, uh, that the next target might be somewhere there. Before we go upstairs, let's just put everyone into a good position. The saturation fire is almost, um, almost available again. One more turn after this. Just want to make sure we have AoE damage if we need to. Okay, normally I am not taking the high ground because of the half cover, but given that we do have a pretty solid argument for it, I would agree that it makes sense. The problem with it is we're usually ending up already pulling another pack. Alright, so what we can do is we can play a little bit with the door itself. Apparently we can't get all three of them in there, but we can get two of them in there. And that's exactly what we're going to do. A little bit of AoE damage. Threat protocol, a threat assessment, and closing the door again. Moving, to designated coordinates. Moving back, Overwatch, and let's see what the enemy is going to do. Okay, single shot would already be enough to kill this guy. Which means we're going to reload, because that's important. And let's try to kill him. Hmm. Hmm. All right, this here would be a flank. leaves only one of them alive. 50-50, hmm. I think he won't, uh, he doesn't have a grenade, He's a, it's a normal uh, trooper. And he can't get out here. Well, he could theoretically get out here, but that's too far, he can't run that far. We could overwatch and pin him down. Then he will need to take a shot. Let's do that. I'll get him next time. Well, he does not give a damn about it, apparently. All right. 
right, let's go. Zero Kim can definitely remove the Overwatch. Enemy destroyed. Or just outright kill him. What's over there? Moving. Okay. Scanning. We're going to take the high ground. Need to regain our um, cooldowns. Three more rounds. Should be good to go. There's one more pack of Vipers, I'm pretty sure. Reloading. Okay, so two more turns. There's the last pick. I'm pretty sure these are the Vipers. Last round before we get our saturation fire back. Good. Okay. So the Vipers usually find themselves up here. Okay. And there is really no beautiful way to engage them. I'm, I'm trusting you here. Other than slowly but surely moving closer. Rolling. Running. And you eventually run into them. Like I said, there's really no perfect way of engaging them. There now. There now. Scanning. Okay, I'll go. I'm on it. I'm on it. We got something over here. Yeah, they are right there. Pretty sure. One way of dealing with them is to actually take the high ground here, pull them into the explosive zone, and probably we're going to do that. I don't want to have a fight in close quarters. The Vipers can bind and poison spit. Okay, let's use the side engagement. There's another tower. That's okay. We can deal with the tower. Like that's not the end of the world. I'm on the move. No need to ask twice. So far, so good. Actually, quite surprised how well we recovered after the Chosen died. On my way. I guess that'll be okay. Okay, so
think the snakes are not following us yet. Vipers still are in there uh, on their uh, high ground. The reason why we see something moving is because of the tower. Yeah, it's the tower, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we could explode it and that would kill the tower automatically. I think that's also what we're going to do. Heading to that location. I'm, I'm trusting you here. We need to kill the Spectre. That's one of these ASAP kills. Let's start with uh, destroying the tower. Next up... Yeah, that's not good enough. Problem is, we uh, the the tree of uh, Roby is in the way, and we clearly don't want to get rid of his tree. The other option is to just demolish the tree here and then have a, at least a single clear shot. We can deal with the Shadowbound next round. Yeah, let's try this. Maybe we even crit. Oh, wow, so close. Down to one hit point. It's probably going to shadow bind us. And that's okay. It means that Roby at least is not a target. We do have a stock, so we can kill uh, the Spectre quite easily he will automatically die we have a, we have an advanced stock in our heavy weapon so yeah despite of his full cover he will go down this guy here is a pain in the ass though overwatch okay good we're just standing here it's reload and kill this guy. Like I said, it was 100% hit, although it showed 37%. Overwatch here. We're giving Zirkim an overwatch. With threat assessment. And let's hit this advanced trooper. Alright. So overwatch is gone. If he takes a move, he's going to probably die. 
And there's uh, the next pick. Well, great. I love it. A couple of mutants and another specter. Gosh, look at you. Oh my god, Saturation Fire will be so would be so good, will be so good, because we can just move up and still use it. Alright. This might be one of the best Saturation Fires I ever had. I mean, we could go to here. The only problem that I'm seeing is I, I really don't want to be in... in... Uh, in a open spot. What's over there? So, let's go here. That's a kill. I got it, right? got Death from above. And Overwatch. Nice, he's burning. We do have Untouchable on Roby. So that's good. Plus he's burning, which means he's going to die. Roby can take a shot. Otherwise, he would have died from burning. Just wanted to make sure that we can get some more experience. And yeah, that looked actually quite, quite good. And that was the last pack. So it's only reinforcements from now. I think we can actually pull it off. It's the first time in the run that I... It's quite literally the first time in the run that I am not thinking how long uh, can I withstand. But, but maybe we're really successful. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, the two-man run actually works. Oh my gosh, that would be so awesome. Let's get saturation fire going. Rolling. Come get some. Come get some. Affirmative. Covering now. Okay. So we are at the extraction zone, right? Which means if we now take the vial. This might be it. Yes, no, maybe. I think it's playing. I think it is playing the the animation. 
I think it, currently the video is running without running. Hmm. Maybe it's also maybe it's also a bug because it's not an XCOM operative who has the vial. Never picked it up with uh, resistance um, resistance operative. Maybe the game doesn't like it. Maybe it's not even possible. So, can we please continue? Let's double check, guys. Even after thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of uh, XCOM 2, there are still things that I can't explain. Why would and not let me pick up the vial. Anyway, so there was the shimmer, uh, this little uh, figment of hope when I thought, hey, maybe the run will be successful. And quite literally, the round afterwards, the game black screens. Hmm. Okay. So the question is, should we do it again? I think the answer is uh, we're using Roby to move downstairs and we're moving up with her. Just have that feeling that effectively you cannot take it with non XCOM operators and that's okay and all, but it's yet another unnecessary bug. Okay. So, once again, here we go. Take the vial. Okay. Where, where to? Alien reinforcements inbound. Water in there. Shen, any readings? No signs of radioactivity. No significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. We've confirmed acquisition of the sample. Move to rendezvous at the extraction point. All right. Roby will do exactly that. Moving to designated position. Position confirmed. Scanning. Overwatch. So if we can take down the reinforcements, good. If not, really no biggie. The idea is mainly to get out of here. See, there's the Overwatch, the dreaded Overwatch that I hate so much. Anyways, we're going to deal with it. She's expendable. Zirkin takes a good chunk. 
and unfortunately fails to kill the mech completely. Roby moves into an evac uh, zone as well. Let's kill the mech. Good. And that concludes the mission. I mean, if she dies, that's bad luck. Good copy. Moving on target. Ready to boogie. Come off Effectively, Nicoletta has done a good job, so we don't want to leave her behind. Five ability points. I love it. We killed 21 enemies with only two soldiers. That was actually a difficult mission, guys. So I am very happy that it that this is over. Advent officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Chosen are incredibly resilient. 38 days. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. I figure it is okay. I mean, we got ourselves a hair trigger and a repeater. Um, and we, that's the most important part. We stopped the Doom Clock by two uh, points. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. We definitely need an ad, uh, alien facility lead now, or even better, we're going to build a skull jack. Twenty days is unfortunately a bit too much. We need to reshift resources. We need that skull jack relatively quick. The reason why I want to make sure that we have the skull jack actually in place is, to be honest, that's the next option for us to remove uh, to reduce the doom timer, because we currently have zero options. Having destroyed their black site, you have dealt a blow to the alien operations, Commander. But there is still no time to lose. Supply drop happens soon. I think we're going to we uh, to go to Western Europe next. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to establish local resources. Incoming message for you, Commander. End of the month. Your progress against the aliens over the past month has been significant, Commander. But there is still room to improve if we are going to eliminate yeah. the alien threat. Yeah, and that here is a problem. Launching a deadly assault uh, on the Avenger is a problem. Greatly increasing scanning times for six weeks, also a problem. Okay, so let's take a look at our soldiers. If the Avenger is being shot down, we need to be able to defend it. We need at least two soldiers. And yeah, Roby is super far away from from being able to do that. Zirka maybe ish. I don't know. My kind all possess clouded memories of the facility you know. Well, we can put them in, uh, we can send them in, even though they are not fit. But here's the deal. Probably we will need to uh, heal faster first before we expand. We It takes 16 more days for the infirmary to get online. In my perspective, I regret not building that earlier. Skulljack, 9 days, that will be okay. 
Um, I think we're going to be fine for now with the avatar project. And if we're lucky, we even get another reduce avatar uh, progress. But we need to heal. Thanks, Bradford. I wouldn't have guessed that we really need to completely scan it. On the other hand, here's the deal. If we don't... He, uh, he, he actually has a point. If there is now a terror attack here, um, we will lose uh, this automatically. So we need to make contact first. I don't want to waste 80 intel. That would be catastrophic. Okay, we know an alien ruler is here. Five facilities and we can't even go to a single one. That is so disappointing. Probably need to... Okay. Probably need to build a tower here fast and then uh, progress. Engineer is good. 102 Intel is enough to continue um, going to Western Europe, which we probably need to do. Um, yeah, let me think about how we are extracting the VIP with so many uh, of our operatives not being able to, to go into a mission. That's all going to happen in the next mission, guys. Um, I think we have passed the worst part, but this month might still be pretty pretty rough not sure yet so uh let's see how we're going to do uh, deal with it thank you so much for watching uh, it was a long video and a long mission i truly enjoyed it and if you liked it as well please leave a comment and uh give it a thumbs up uh, that signals you uh, for youtube uh, a bit of activity hi um, and highlights the video for others thank you so much have a great evening and see you in the next video bye bye